From Twitter to Instagram, Facebook to Snapchat, Tumblr to Pinterest, social media dominates the average student's day, with most teenagers spending almost nine hours a day on social media, according to CNN. I'm not sure exactly how much time I spend on it. It's not like I surround my life around it, but I'm sure I use it quite often. Although many teenagers use social media as an entertainment outlet, some restrict what they post. I do monitor like what I would post or like retweet or anything because I guess like if someone like an adult or someone like I wanted to impress like for a job or something was looking at social media, I don't want them to be turned off by like how I treat others or like how I act on social media. According to educational consulting company Ivy Wise, 27% of admission officers surveyed said they Google prospective students. 26% said they look up applicants on Facebook. 35% said that when checking up on a student's online presence, they found something that negatively impacted an applicant's chances of getting in, nearly tripling from 12% last year. However, monitoring online behavior might not be as necessary as some students think when applying to large universities. With over 47,000 applicants, there's no way that we could possibly be checking your Twitters and Snapchats, and we're not interested in that. Um, we're going to be looking at your application. Now, as far as how we communicate with you, um, we're on all social media platforms. If you have an admissions question, you can ask our Twitter. But even then, we're not going to like follow you and then be like, oh, she asked me a dumb question last week. She can't get it. You know, like your social media is your own. Uh, but you can reach out to us if necessary. Although colleges like UT do not look into applicant social media accounts, counselors suggest keeping social media presence appropriate for other reasons. Students should be very careful about what they're posting online, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, even Snapchat, because once you put something out into the interspace that is available for anyone to access, no matter what you think the security restrictions are and that sort of thing, it can be found. So I'd be very careful with what you're posting on the internet it's really important for students to realize that this is kind of a new era of technology that you guys are growing up in. Students of this generation are the trailblazers of the internet um, and that comes with lots of pros and cons. One of the cons is you have to be really careful who you are showing yourself to be on the internet because anyone can see that. So you definitely want to show your best self um, for your future universities and employers. Reporting for WTV, I'm Divya Morali.